Hey there and welcome to this demo video. I'm going to show you how Flick Graph works and how easy it is to use. So I have the software open right now and to get started I'm just going to open up a nice little sample video that I have here of a waterfall. And the entire video as you can see we have the waterfall going down, we have the rain, we have the water moving. The entire video there's something happening. Okay. What we can do here on this first bar is we can choose the video duration by adjusting the sliders. Now, in my case, the entire video is the same thing. It's the waterfall going down. But in your case, you might be using a video where someone is walking or the entire video contains different scenes and you will need to use the slider to go to the scene that you want to use. Okay. So in my case, it's all the same. So once I have it selected, I'm going to click on this little lock here. Now, once I click on this lock, the next thing that I need to do is choose a still frame that I want to work with. So again, in my case, everything is pretty much the same, but in your case, you might want to choose a very specific scene in your video. So I'm going to keep mine right here in the middle of my upper brackets, and I'm going to click on the lock again. Once I have that clicked, you're going to notice we have a still frame. I'm going to click on my camera, and that's going to take a screenshot of my video. Now here's where the magic happens and here's where we can go ahead and create our cinema graph. When I mouse over my video, you can see I have this big old circle. It's kind of like Photoshop if you're going to erase something or use a brush. I'm going to come to the left and I'm going to shrink my circle a little bit, adjust my size there, make my circle a little bit smaller. And all I have to do is kind of erase where I want my live video to be. So let's say, for example, I wanted my water down here moving and nothing else. So I'm going to click and then just kind of go back and forth, almost like I'm erasing my screenshot. And as I'm erasing my screenshot, it's showing the actual video underneath it. So I can come all the way through here, erase all of this screenshot that we have. And what's happening in the background here is the video that's playing right here is going to be playing the video from this upper bracket. So we can see here the timeline, it goes to the end and then it restarts and it starts playing it again. And it's going to do that over and over for whatever section that you choose in this first part. So we can see everything is frozen and our, my water is continually to move. If I mess up, I can come over here and instead of erase, I can check mark this little box here and switch it over to unerase. Now I can do the same thing, but instead of making it a video, I'm now freezing it back in place to how it was. We do have some other options to adjust the opacity, the smoothness. We can select particular areas and the frame alpha and by adjusting these, we'll kind of adjust the screenshot itself and how much of the video actually gets through. So all the way forward, you can see it's completely frozen up here like a screenshot. Now, if I move it down a little bit, we can see a little bit of the animation is starting to leak in a little bit. So you can play with these settings here, find the perfect settings that you like that make the cinema graph that you like. So let's go ahead and do this again here, make just my water here moving. And when I'm completely done with this, I can click on export video at the top. I can export this in MP4 or GIF format, MP4 for video websites that accept videos or GIF format for like Imgur or websites that only accept images. Either way, it's going to look the exact same way and it's going to repeat over and over again. Down below, we need to select our different size that we want to export in. We have landscape, portrait, or square, or we can use the original size, or we can do custom dimensions. We also have frame rates and loops. Now the loops here are pretty much only for the MP4s because GIFs are going to loop no matter what over and over. But for your MP4s, you can turn on loops to re-loop it back and forth. Now if you plan on using this on Facebook, you can only loop a video up to 30 seconds on Facebook. So the length of your video plus how many times you're going to loop it, that can only be 30 seconds long if you want it to work on Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and click on GIF here. I'm going to keep my original size and I'm going to click on export. Once I do that, we can see my GIF was successfully exported and now I can share that cinema graph anywhere on the internet. 